Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. Hey yo, Johnny Poppers, what's poppin'? Um, so hopefully we can do a case review on this, being I really didn't do a review. And I haven't looked at the case so much because, you know, I haven't had any hardware or anything to throw in it. But in this video, um, the lights on the front of the uh, case, I'm going to try to turn on again because I've done it before and it works. So hopefully that will happen. Also, this case is not light. Ugh. gonna take this side glass off real quick y'all already know how to do this so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back okay guys so um, I should have said in the beginning before I click off this video I'm gonna do a closer up and basically what you guys want so my last video I got quite a few comments of saying that I didn't get close enough or whatever, I should move the camera closer and do it. Well, my problem is trying to fit me in the frame in this case, so I'm going to see if I can do some montage shots or something, or even just talk over shots so you guys can see what's happening. So hopefully, I did bring the harsh light that kind of makes me look really weird, so I have to stand back here so much because the light's literally right down there. Anyways, this case uh, was like $147 is how much I paid for it on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. Also, like I said, I will be turning on the front lights on it. Sorry guys, it's kind of a little pain in the butt to do this because the uh, I'm using my computer desk and it's not very wide. So like I said, these fans here I'm going to try to turn on. I've done it before, so I'll do it again. So yeah. Um, think that's the only fan. Also, this front I.O. up here does turn on. It has some lights on there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this fired up. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm going to be powering this thing up. I do have to jump it from my other computer. That's why my other computer is sitting here. So... Now, in my other video, this is what I was talking about. That it stays at one setting um, also up here there's this that's your fan speed and this is your or that's down that's uh, to lower your fan speed or you can just and max it out also this is your power button so yeah I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like with all these up on it. Alrighty, so here's what it looks like with the, all the things on it. Don't look too bad, but I feel like if you would have like RGB on there, it would look so much better. So yeah. So here's the inside of the case. It's pretty dark. So there's the LEDs. You guys can see it's just little LEDs sitting on the side of the frame. Also, this is a f another fan. Hopefully, it ain't distorting the microphone. But yeah, it's blowing this way. Um, yeah, so let's get a closer shot at that I.O. So, yeah. So it's got uh, USB 3.0, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, two of those. You got a reset button, an additional button that you can put in yourself. Um, 
headphones, microphone, um, and all this stuff here. I think that's just power. Show that it has power. So yeah, that's your front I.O. Um, I don't have any motherboard or anything in it, so yeah. You got all these things here, which are your, um, man, I forget what the fuck they're called. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, so you've seen the front of it and everything else, um, the front of it with the lights on. I'm actually going to shut that down now. Um, I think my case, act for the case fans and all the lights and stuff, actually came with a bent pin. So for me, it's a little harder to, uh, plug the thing in, but it still works, so I'm not going to complain too much about it, even though that I did spend over $100 on it. But, um, if you do want to see the other video, the other video will be up in the top right hand corner. But back to the back end of it, this is where all your like graphics card and stuff like that. This is also you can vertical mount that. Yeah. Okay, so you can mount ver vertical mount graphics cards here, and your standard ones right there. So yeah. So you got USB 3.0 connectors and all that type of stuff up in here. Hopefully y'all can see this. I'll get closer on that too, so y'all can see it closer. Alrighty, so last video I did say that there, you guys have four SSDs. Um, I will be taking off the other side and getting you guys closer. So you got, so you got all the wiring right there. So it does come with wires in it already. Uh, fan extension looks like, or maybe not. Okay, whatever. Um, all that stuff, plus the fans, I said before. So, yeah. There's that, and I'm going to be showing you guys the other side, so give me a second. Oh, one more thing, uh, is that the SSDs, all you do is just come up here, and usually these can be tightened up with thumbs, or with your thumbs and fingers, or finger tight, but, um, because they, it is brand new, the screws are a little tighter so you can't get them out and also the back is the same way to take off just thumb screws you know so simple I'm going to show you guys the back okay so here is the back and take you off the tripod we have all the wire management going on right here this is straight from the factory it comes like this also there's your hard state drives and there's another one or the oh, HDD is what it's actually called regular hard drives and all that stuff that you all just already saw on the other side too so wire management and those so your wires don't get like trashed basically so yeah the only few that does not have those is the ones that are up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you guys go. There's one there. I think a small one there. And another one right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the backside. Just wire management. That's where all the wires and stuff like that will be hidden stuff away. So, yeah. Oh, one more thing. If you guys are looking like me, where it only has tempered glass one side because... You know, you might not be good at wire management or whatever. Um, or even if you just don't want to see the other side, whatever. This case does have just one uh, tempered glass side panel. This right here is the back panel, and it is not glass. It is a piece of metal. It's got vents and stuff on it. So, yeah, just literally just slides right into place. Done. And then you got your thumb screws here. And just tighten them up. One at the top, one at the bottom. Now, like I said before, if you do want to see the other video, it will be up in the top card selection thing, and you will be able to find this case. 
or I did a bigger video on this case. Talked about it a little differently, so if I didn't talk about it in this video, I most definitely talked about it in the other video. If there's anything else that I am missing, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah, so this handle also is made out of rubber, and it's got this, I don't know what you would call it, like, fin-feeling thing on the bottom of it. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you because I can't even see it with my eyes looking underneath it, so... This top panel does come off, and it also it's got a three, four fans, I'm sorry. One giant one sitting right here, and one on the back, and the two on the front that you have already saw. So, yeah. Um, if you guys did not get to see or how to put this side panel on, I will show you guys right now. Okay, so... You got four thumb screws. They do not have like screwdriver uh, things on them, whatever you know. So you cannot use a screwdriver and do not use pliers. It's literally just for your thumbs. And if you guys did not know, it does have a tempered glass side panel. So if you guys are beginners or whatever, this tempered glass will shatter into a million pieces. So there is these little like stick out points on them like for the screws. All you do is line it up. Push it into place. And then hold it with your fingers or your whole hand, whatever, and then just screw the top ones in. Once you get the top ones in, you can let go. Because it's already being held into place. This is my first computer ever bu being built, um, so yeah. And if you guys do want to see, like, what does it look like on the inside with the case panel on, I can show you that too. Because it is a little dark, I will say that, it's uh, got a light smoke on. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but the side panel is on. So, yeah. Also, it comes with this really cool cleaning cloth. I'll have to show you guys that. It's in here somewhere. Also, it comes with a box full of stuff and goodies. I did go over the goodies and stuff in the box in the other video, I think. So, it comes with this really cool uh, Cooler Master. Cleaning cloth. I, I feel like there's, if you, I mean, if you're gonna put Cooler Master on it, at least print it all over. But I feel, I see why they didn't because the cleaning cloth or their logo on here doesn't feel the best on here. So you die, you guys can just wipe it down. You want it to make your machine look really cool or nice, you can just wipe it down. So that's, they give you a cleaning cloth with their logo on it. I, I feel like it should be like purple with your logo printed on it. It would be really cool. Or, yeah, purple, because the box is kind of purple and it would look really cool. But anyways, like I said, if you guys, if I didn't cover it in this video, I covered it in the other video. People are telling me to get the camera closer, show you guys a little more. So yeah, basically what's in here, God damn it. Motherboard adapters, so you, or extensions, I think. Yeah, extensions. Uh, God damn it. There we go. So we got extensions, uh, screws, and the cleaning cloth, of course. Motherboard speaker, I won't be using. Um, I think this is for the, for the, so it's got spare, it's got a bunch of screws and stuff like that, so, stuff like that, I think it's like motherboard screws too in here.
Yeah, I think it's got mother yeah motherboard screws because there's a motherboard standoff. Motherboard screws, basically spare screws for this and motherboard standoff screws. Which, I think there's a few already in there. Yeah, there's a few in there already. So, I mean, you get quite a bit for uh, 140-some or 160-some. It's totally worth it. I do want to say that because... If you guys are like me, looking around, scavenging around, I mean, scavenging around on YouTube, and you guys want to find out what's the best case, stuff like that, this is a really good case. If you if you like the look, I like the look of the um, I don't know if it's the older or even the newer. Um, there's this um, uh, Alienware case. I like the look of that. And then I came across the, or I came across a lot of cases. I've looked at so many cases, but I wanted a full case. If you guys are wondering why, because then if I if I want to you know change graphics cards or something, I can. I have a room. If I want to go from like a 1060 or not 1060, ugh. Yeah, 1080 or no, not 1080, 1060 whatever, you know, graphics card, I can put it in here. I have the room. There's this one turbo hard drive, or not hard drive, uh, disk drive, that's just maybe an inch away from the, uh, graphics, or the SD, SSD rack. Um, so yeah, you can get five hard drives in here. Plus, if you got, if your motherboard has M.2, that would be six hard drives. My motherboard is going to have uh, M.2, so I don't know if I'm going to use them all or whatever, but I'm definitely going to get some SSDs because they run faster and they play, you know, they load faster basically. And because I want an editing machine and gaming machine, I need SSDs. It moves footage, games faster. So basically, if I wanted to play a game right away, download it to an SSD, move it later. So, um, I did cover all the filters and stuff like that in this, in the other video. So if you do want to see more about that, they're in the other video. So if you guys wanted to see that. So, I don't know how much work you would have to worry about, uh, like, case management or, like, cleaning. Once you, if you clean these, You'll be good. Also, there's, uh, I think like three, yeah, three. Because there's one back here. Alrighty, let's move this now. So we don't need that anymore. So, there's one down here. Okay, I know there's one down here. There we go. It's just a small one. A little more pain in the butt to get out. So if you guys are going to put your computer kind of closer to the wall, this one back here is going to be a little harder to get out. But that one is for your, um, like your power supply fan to put it downwards. There's also another one up front. It's also a big one. If I can get it in there, come on. Alrighty, and all the ones on the front have this mesh material, so it'd be pretty hard for dust to get in. Now there is places on the computer, whoa, on here, for dust that can get in if you guys are worried about that. But you know, as long as you guys keep maintenance on it, like the um, little place here, the fan, I don't think has any mesh yet, no. But um, like the where the vertical mount graphics card goes, there is some there. So, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys lights on and stuff like that. Also, this is not a drawer. The um, front I.O. does come off, so, or not the front I.O., god damn it. The um, Cooler Master logo does come off. 
but this case is a main brand case. Uh, cases that are also main brand are such as um, the cases like uh, Corsair, Cooler Master, of course, um, MSI cases. I know there's a few out there. Um, I don't know too much of main brands. I just know basically what I'm getting is main brand. Because one, it's really expensive. Two, and I've done my research, found out it's main brand, stuff like that. If, if you also want to see the products I'm going to be putting in here, there will be a card in the upper right hand corner that is for that. I did a whole entire video showing you guys what type of parts and stuff like that I will be putting in this computer. Um, sorry if I talk too much. Let me know in the comments below because, like, I, I know I do. It's okay. Anyways, um, if you guys are wondering why I put the cardboard box over here and put the glass on it, because the glass is very expensive and I don't want it broke, so I just put it on, I put the box up there and put the stuff on it. So also, if you guys are like, I would not get rid of the case box. The case box you can, if you let's say you're moving or whatever, you can put the computer right back in. Keep all the component boxes too, like if you get a new motherboard or a new graphics card, you can put that graphics card back into its box and you don't have to worry about it getting broken. So, if you do that, you really don't have to worry about it breaking or anything. So, or next time you want to use it, you don't have to worry about it not working. So they do have this bag that comes with it and the front end piece of styrofoam. And then another back piece of styrofoam. There we go. And then, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, maybe not. Okay, I'll change you guys over here so you guys can see it. You do put it in the box. I do advise you to get some help because putting it in here is a little harder. Taking it out isn't so bad because you can grab the handle and take it out. But because the foam is a little harder. Also, um, here it is. So I got the Trooper uh, SE, there's also a white version of that, so if you guys do like with the white version, I don't like the white version because dirt, stuff like that, if it does manage to get dirty or whatever, but I'm not going to, you know, purposely let it get dirty and ruin the value on the case, I mean, I already have lost value on it because one, I mean, I bought it. That's why. <laughs> Anyways, you guys want to mind putting it over here? This is where I store it because nothing can really get to it. Alrighty, guys. I don't know what happened. Well, I don't know what happened. My camera apparently froze or something, and it, it just stopped recording. So I did put the case away and all that. I don't know if you guys saw that, so I apologize. Uh, Anyways, hopefully it did get majority of the video and what I need and stuff like that. So, yeah. The case is all put away. Um, I did use a background thing. I don't usually use this because... I don't use, ever use this because it's only literally as big as my desk. That's it. Just as big as my desk. I mean, it makes a nice background if you're going to take a picture of small things, stuff like that. Because it does have this right here, which is supposed to be, you know, like a piece of wood or whatever. So then if it comes up, God damn it, like that, sort of. So it kind of looks more like a floor and a wall. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I had to tape the edges so it kind of looks like a tablecloth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. 
and Tractor Man. Peace out.